This is Pokemon. No way, I'm sorry. I mean Pow World. And it's currently plagued by these things called Pows. Yet these fluffy Pokemon. No, I mean Pals. That's right, Pals. These are Pals. Everybody remember these are Pals. Because you might forget. As they kind of look like Pokemon. They can be captured, enslaved. Wait, I mean befriended. Then put to work on berry plantations. Damn, now that I'm reading this out loud, this is uh, this game is kind of messed up with its premise. But don't worry, because I will never do any of that messed up stuff. I'm just here to cash in them all. Free labor? No thank you. I will toil these lands with my own hands. Yeah, it's like, I'm gonna put these pals to work. And you'll see shortly. Now, do me the favor, if you enjoy this video, hit that like and subscribe button. I have planned a lot of different videos and I have a lot in store uh, so click that notification to keep up to date and join the discord for sneak peeks or chat with me about Powell, Ark, Valheim or any other survival game. I also host servers so feel free to join any of the active ones. I created my character and I have to say this is the first game ever with black hairstyles that actually look good. Woke up to some Pokemon looking at me. Are they the ones that knocked me out and brought me here? I will never know. Yeah, so you'll probably hear a lecture in the background. My bad. I actually had to take notes of what my professor was saying. So I took a quick pause before I started. And when I came back, I just had to admire this beautiful world. I mean, sheesh. This reminds me of Breath of the Wild so much. And for those of you who are uncultured swines, it's a Zelda Nintendo game. When I finally walk out, I see this tower and click on it to unlock fast travel. These towers are extremely useful, so keep in mind. Then run back inside because I was scared I'd die while I took notes. Now, if you've watched me before, you know these cinnamon buns are always getting clapped. So safety first. Once I was back and realized no one glazed my buns, I turned around and there appeared to be stairs leading further into the start dungeon. So I went down and eventually found a room with this blue glowing thing and grabbed it. It said I unlocked technology points, which I guess is how you unlock things. Now, I spent some more time exploring and found a treasure chest that you need a copper tree to unlock. Picked up some materials so I can craft an axe, crafted a bench, which you need to hold down to build, and I was getting cold, so I had to make a torch to keep warm. Now, I didn't have enough resources for the axe, so I continued exploring through the night and gathering materials. I eventually ran into my first creature that looked to be a chicken, and I slapped him with my torch, making myself some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Then rolled his body off the cliff to get rid of the evidence. Killed another chimacan and saw an egg on a broken down wall so i snatched on day two i found a cave at the end of my adventure and these blue rocks so i made a pickaxe and mined it it drops these blue fragments called pallium i also made an axe so i can follow my dreams and become a true blue lumberjacker i left the cave as is because i know i'm not ready but i made note on the map of where it was now i started to get hungry but i couldn't eat the raw food so i had to make a fire pit and cook it. I placed it near this dead jiggly me puff and just look at me go. Chef slime up in this place. Now I continued along the beach and found a spow sphere. Now I'm not gonna lie, in my notes I really wrote spow sphere. See, when you take notes and then write notes at the same time, you get a lot of spelling errors. But these pal spheres acts like a pokeball. And I also found some weird green booger thing. Now once I clicked it, it attached itself to me. Classic booger. Now, once I ran out of land, I started to climb up the cliff, which proved to be hard to do since there was uh, this really big one you had to parkour over. I honestly thought I was gonna be stuck here for a while. But now that I was back at start, I realized again how beautiful this game actually is. I also saw this giant mammoth that disappeared over the horizon, then TP'd behind me. It had a boss icon on it, so yeah, I'm gonna assume it's a boss. I also found this cool spot to make base, placed down a pal deck, which will store all my creatures and a foundation. It also acted like a fast travel. Now, I was chopping down some trees, found a chest that I could open, and saw this Mewtwo looking thing, so I slapped it around, and just as it was on the brink of death, I captured it. My very first pal. I put it in the pal deck and put it to work. It says that any creature out will automatically find a job to do, but right now it was idle. I saw a wandering merchant, but can't buy nada from him. Worked through the night and managed to complete enough missions to upgrade my pal box. Made some pal balls, cloth and armor, and set off to complete tutorial missions. First one was to capture five Jigglema Puffs. I ended up seeing a glowing chicken and I wanted to capture it, but that thing was dangerous. It spit out fire and lit me up. 
I ended up getting some help, but they killed it instead. I captured some more Mewtwo's. The glowing pal dropped feathers in something called Ancient Civilization part. I captured some more Jigglypuffs and found another green booger. I will later come to realize these are called effigies. Then I found a green ball next to a Firefox. It's called a Giga Ball. And then I found a berry that unlocks skills for Dark Pal. Now I captured the Firefox, but he was feeling kind of lonely. So I also got him a friend. I unlocked a new travel point as well, which was good because I died shortly after picking up a green effigy. I went back to pick up my stuff and found more abandoned eggs. So you know what I do? I snatch them. Went back to base because I unlocked more things like a ranch and a pal box gear, which will allow me to use my pals in battle. Now to make the Firefox Addo, I need more leather and flame organ, which means it's time for some killing. Got everything I needed and made the harness. This took some time to realize, but when you make the harness, it's applied to all creatures of that type. So it's not one per creature, it's kind of more of an unlock and it's untradeable. While catching some more Jigglypuffs, I found another tech point and a chest that actually gave me a copper key so I can open up more advanced chests. When I finally reached level seven, it allowed me to create auto farms for wood and stone. After creating them, I had to find volunteers to work them. So me and my little homie Firefox went out hunting. I clicked F to use him it turns out my guy here loves to spew the hot breath. He's a flamethrower. Now we easily wipe the floor with this green fluff ball. Found a really cool elk and accidentally killed him. But I really wanted him. And from what I can tell in the guide, he's a perfect worker. Now I found some thugs finding mercs in a chest with a dead body fell. I tamed the rush board because it looked really funny and I found a cave. Then saw another green effigy and right next to it, a really beautiful elk now tamed one up which was actually really hard it almost killed me and then grabbed the effigy now i saw this new pal called the nightwing and it shot out my name slime come tame me so i shot it out the sky with some flames and tried to tame it only to accidentally kill it with fire damage now as night approached i headed home to fully build the auto farms and use some pals to man them but then suddenly i get a notification i'm being raided <laughs> so i grab my firefox and light them up easy as hell my boy is a beast. On day five, I spent this time upgrading my base so I can use and house more pals. I even saddled my boar so I can run around quicker. And I used his ability to destroy some boulders for some quick materials. He's a pretty cool mount, honestly, for early game at least. He's a very good way to quickly get materials like iron. I built a statue of power and leveled up by using the green boogers. I collected in the beginning. Built a ranch and pretty much hit a wall with the current upgrades as I haven't unlocked the things I need to build to complete more missions in the power box. Now, I found another sparkly Jigglypuff and managed to capture it. Turns out they're called Lucky Pals and they actually have special ability. Then I found a Sleeping Pal. It was level 14, so I knew it was gonna be tough, but I get it to like 1% health and it manages to escape twice then die now by the time i get my stuff the pal is gone on day six i went exploring a bit found some chests some new pals and an effigy then found a village and even managed to trade in some of my useless pals that i've been collecting now i finally have enough find points to unlock hot springs sure. level up my basic i just need powerful woods, which you get from water creatures right on my search i ran into some kidnappers settlement set them on fire even save the damsel in distress i actually am curious as to what creature it is so i checked the pal deck and the name is lady of light once i got to base i built the hot springs and saw another one of those dragon leaf type pals but i swear this game doesn't want to see me succeed i get it low and the whole base comes after it trying to kill it i was defeated so i created a harness for the stingray and waited out the night doing random things at base now all the harness did for the stingray was allow me to glide so i guess not all pals are useful but at least for the night i built up base then went out looking for more pals i finally managed to tame a saddle pal which hopefully is faster than the boar but sadly it's not much faster but it's faster now i found a tree that had a bunch of skill fruit on it then went back to base to build a furnace which is the last thing needed to upgrade my base again ran into this cool looking boss and i really wanted it only level 11 so i think i can take and i was going toe to toe until it hit me with a poison skill luckily i managed to get off a ball before i died so when i respawned i had actually tamed it my first really strong pal now i ran to get my things back and some thugs were mugging a, a merchant so i hopped into action killing them and the merchant sorry my guy you were just a casualty of war ran into a tower to take on the tower master Now, 
Now, it was a really cool anime looking girl with a Pikachu. Now, this Pikachu was tough, but I managed to kite him into the wall while my kill it attacked. Now, it was a painfully long battle, but as long as I cheese, I can win. But I got impatient and my creature was missing all his shots, so I tried to speed it up and ended up dying. Luckily, all my stuff dropped outside the tower, so I was able to grab my things. Made an incubator and incubated one of my many, many eggs that I had stolen from their nest. Then went mining for some metal and finally got me I'm that down. plant dragon. Then spent the whole day waiting for my egg to incubate. Now I got a pen king from it. This guy is a beast worker. And if I can get a pen king from an egg, I wonder what else I can get. So I made a, another incubator and incubated more pen eggs. King? Then slept through the night. Now my boy got some crazy lizard from his egg and I got another chill it, which is the boss one from before. Now I finally reached level 11, which means I can make an elk saddle. And honestly, the alpaca I was using before was super slow. So hopefully this is faster. While in the middle of making it, I got raided by wild pals and one of them is a dire wolf. So I had to tame it. I also tamed nice. the lizard guy, but who cares about them? I unlocked the wolf saddle and leveled up enough from this raid that I can ride my chill it boss. So I made Being both. Like the dragon now the dire the wolf is so fast and the chill it looks hilarious while it runs. You're like so far back. It's like you're clinging onto him from his butt cheeks. <laughs> Full on so grab it. Now I fed him a skill fruit and it did like 1400 damage damn took on the boss now that i had the dire wolf just cheesed the hell out of it for some reason it really only now, aggroed on me so i ran it around and just spit at it while my boy kept nibbling its booty cheeks it took like eight minutes but finally killed it on unlocked ancient tokens which enabled us to get a grappling gun and other things I made some pelt armor and went into a no, cave. Like this cave had rocks. two giant paldium nodes that gave a ton of it. There were loads in the dungeon and new creatures I haven't seen. So two giant big moss looking things. One was glowy and I managed to get the boss version, but lucky version escaped my grasp. Honestly though, there wasn't much in the dungeon after that. Jeez, Only a couple crazy. of simple chests. When I got back in the morning, my base was destroyed, but I managed to get back and collect my things. Built it back up, killed my first creature, the and they sent it, which Even was on my screen, it's Then by accident, it. I slashed a mammoth, but I wasn't no punk, so it was time to put in some work. Took some time of me doing like eight damage, and it literally Why took all night and day. When it was low, I threw a regular ball, but it bounced. A less than 1% chance you can tame it even with the green ball. But on the first one, I got it. And this thing is a hard worker. He does lumbering, mining, and some. Not to mention his ridiculous stats. I put him to work for now while I fixed up the base some more. Made an essence collector which allows you to combine powers to create more evolved versions. Since I had a bunch of the fire foxes, I used them to make my OG stronger. I went back to the metal spot I found and put down a power box so that I can travel back faster with my metal loads. With my metal loads. This was a big brain time kind of play. Sure, Went out to catch more fire foxes and ended up getting this weird looking yeah. squirrel. But when I read the but description, I saw left. that it can actually use yeah, weapons. Right. Found a right. black marketeer and traded my soul for the most expensive pal. Okay. He's a gigantic dragon. So, you know, I kind of had to. The smaller pals actually get weapons. So the penguins get rocket launchers, monkeys get assault rifles, and the squirrels get submachine guns. So you know I had to make the saddle. The sucky part is I had to sell every pal to get the drag. However, I did manage to find one still left over. So I had to use it. Holy this thing shit. is funny as hell. Man, hops on your head and just lets it spray. I went out capturing pals and gathering oh, leather from the night. Took like six minutes to craft, but now I finally have a flyer. Then the dreaded moment. I see on my screen oh, shit, fan fangirls who attack and they were doing a night raid on us. Now too bad they don't know I was born gifted with these hands. And squad came in to jump them. And we defeated them pretty quickly. Just sucks that I couldn't tame one. Because I really did want one as a pal. For science purposes. Made the rocket launcher for the penguin and took him out for a spin. It literally dies after one shot. Me thinking like, if it's going to die after one shot, that means big damage. I tried it out on the mammoth. And all it did was knock it down. So we get it down to like three fourths health. And we just decide to continue attacking it. It took two whole days, but he was finally low. Then me, who was too busy running away, wasn't aware how close it was to death and accidentally killed it. 
So I just oh, uh, to took a him. short break because that one that one hurt. That was two days worth of energy, and I accidentally killed it. Using a Nightwing makes traversing the world so much easier. Holy hell! I was finding egg after egg, chest after chest, effigies after effigies. I even managed to find a dungeon. I that entered so it and I was bodying dead. everything with the man. But How when I called it back shit? because I don't want to kill the boss the monster of the dungeon, I get bodied time, by the minions who keep freezing now when i got back Don't after my death i took it on again and this time playing a bit smarter finally getting it tamed on the first ball then went after this flaming alpaca king which we got super low two health and captured it alive then went to the next boss on the map to capture it but i got run up by some thug then something kind of flicked in my head what if we can capture thug so i threw a ball out out of curiosity and bam went into the ball before fought its way out like five times. Just as it was about to give up, I see it shake. And after that, it was capped. This is taking slave labor to a whole new level. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for them. Anyway, bosses aren't really an issue with this mammoth. He's so OP. He tanks everything and deals massive damage as well. I took on Catrus, which was so easy. However, because of how much damage he deals, he can sometimes kill the pal which was what he did with Catros. He cast the lightning and oh, killed shit, Now I re-ran some dungeons for more boss pals. I went around Gosh. exploring and found a cave with a statue along with some FGs and tech points. Seeing two mammoths fighting and they managed to get each other low, but both refused to be tamed and were oh, killed. Now we ran into some new creatures. One of them were a walking cat and another one was a crow that would go invisible and TP behind you to beat you. After you ran away, it would walk towards you all menacing like. Luckily, I was able to capture it before it killed me. Then I tamed a pink wool lamb and its description was it's 1,000 times sweeter than sugar. Right next to it was a boss battle for the Bushi boss. The boss? It's a samurai boss, okay. so you know I wanted it. Went back to base first to upgrade and look through all the engrams I neglect. I was finally at a level where I can unlock guns. Made two muskets and a bunch of ammo. Then a breeding farm. Tamed another king alpaca and ran through the bosses again before taking on the Bushi boss. I did the catchers again and actually tamed her this time. She was the last one on my list and the only one that escaped my clutches. Now it was time for Bushi. On my way to the dungeon, I did tame a couple of fire wyverns and a bronze cherry. Oh, 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 this guy looks dope. This guy got some anime villain energy. Despite how he looked, he was actually super easy. And because of how easy he was, we accidentally killed him oh. with too many headshots. But he did have some cool attacks. Spent these next couple of days just resource gathering with the boar before the morning came. I saw this fire looking bird who shot fire tornado. It took a hot minute to catch him. And I'm kind of talking about like 30 balls before he actually stayed in, but it was worth it. Yes, this man. thing is a beauty. Go. Found some butterflies that dropped honey when you kill them. Then I heard a shiny in the on. distance. Oh, it was a crazy. shiny flop. Now this thing straight kamahamaha would me multiple <laughs> times. I needed this guy in my arsenal as his moves were stupid lethal. Took like 10 okay. minutes and a lot of deaths okay. along okay. with a okay. lot of my balls, but I finally got it. I also had to get hey, saved a couple of times by my friend. While exploring, I ran into a robin quill, which lot. literally like said, is sexy, a beam. He shoots an arrow that does massive damage and throws yeah, cluster bro, bombs. Eventually, I got sick of the heavy hitting pals in this area, Talk so I left. That. Went back to base to consolidate oh, all the things I got and I build it up. And honestly, I, I, I'm kind of glad the old one burnt down because I would never have built it this way. And I really like it. It's so much better than that trash first one. Now I built an egg incubation room because we would be needing that once we get our breeding farm up and made myself some metal armor. Took Damn, all day to like capture the boss mammoth, but this dragon. time we got him. You do need a gigasphere or better. And I was lucky it captured on the second one because oh, I only had two. Now I, I played a bit with too. capturing the pals, getting 10 for a lot of the starter ones to complete missions and gain levels. Went exploring and found a field boss that looked like a pink rat. Charged it up and tamed it. Found another tree that drops one piece of fruit. I found a free <laughs> pal and lion stronghold, yet they had a pal hostage. Y'all are backwards, no. just to let you know. There was also a new pal, so you know I had to scoop up. Found some B guards that detonate when you get too close to them, but from up top, you can see how confuse them for fairies. 
And now I caught one and read oh, the description. Like it's out. in service of its queen, one which means that chance? she is nearby. Once I find her, I get her super low, but run out of common balls, so 100%. I had to have my boy tame her up instead. Then we meet something called the Mosanda, which TP to me and slapped the hell out of me. Man, these regular balls aren't doing anything to no them right now. This jungle biome is really the cool, but god damn it, is it dangerous. Literally lost oh, my mount. Lying and had to walk everywhere just straight running just not looking back because if i did i would have been bye bye now the bee guard actually drops honey so i put it in the ranch then i sold all my useless pals to a merchant except for a few so i can consolidate them later Jesus when i got cool. back to base i realized we had no resources no paladin fragments no rocks That's nothing fair. so i went to the cave near the first tower for more research now i forgot to click record but i found a ring of resistance from a lucky chick mckin it gives me resistance to neutral damage which is cool first time i've seen this went into abandoned expecting to find gold and loot but all i see is this black marketeer with his messed up smile oh, oh that damn smile Sold all my useless creatures to him, and now I'm just short of 30k gold. Now that I was Scrooge McDuckin', I went cave dwelling looking for more resources. Turns out this was a legit dungeon. Even had a boss T fan at the end. I mean, it was weak and adorable, but it was still a dungeon. So I tamed the boss and received a pendant of diligence and thermal underwear. While flying around, I met somebody named the reincarnated guy who gave me a slice of pizza. But my only question is. Where did it come from? Because he dead Wait, pulled it out from behind him. Sus. Super sus. I found the Lunares, which looks like a legendary Pokemon. It looks amazing, and I can't wait to use it as a mount. Battled the boss Bron Cherry and tamed it, then went back to base only to realize the reason we don't have any resources at all is because the creatures are tossing it outside the pull zone for base, and it's eventually despawning. This is ridiculous. It's a bad bug but it's fine. If I move base to a flat land, I might be able to stop it. And if not, I'll at least notice all my resources. Condense my fox parts again after finally getting 16 more of them. And I forgot to record this, but I got a bushy from an egg. He was the samurai boss guy. And this kind of reminded me I never actually got the tape. Made a spear assembly line and then checked out a cave. This cave was really nice to look at. It had a skeleton tunnel and just overall felt like a real dungeon. Marble walls and all that jazz leading up to the boss room where a gumas met me and died by my hands. Grabbed the two chests on my way out and went looking for an electric organ so I could build a generator. Took all day, but finally got enough resources for one. While it built, I took on the bushi so I could finally tame that bad boy. I finally got him in an upgraded base again. So close to getting to level 15, I can feel it. Once I do, I actually get the option to build another base. I leveled up to 28 and was finally able to saddle my mammoth. So I booked it to the saddle bench and made one. No one can stop me now. Explored new lands and saw all new creatures and NPCs. This Azora bull thing was my first tame of the day. Then an NPC infantry and finally this beautiful deer looking thing. It's like the elk deer from before but electric. Ended off my taming spree with the same creature I versed at the tower called a Grizzbolt. I read his description and it said it can use a minigun so I'm excited to bring it back to base and make it sad. I tried to tame another NPC and it killed my bird leaving me stranded on this island. And as soon as my feet touch the land, I start hearing siren. I get a message that I'm wanted and the more I fight back, the worse it gets. More and more soldiers start swarming me and I have no way off the island. Now I'm screaming for dear life and I told my boy just to leave me behind. But while I ran in seemingly slow motion, awaiting death, there comes my savior. who dropped me a flying pal. Now we escaped, but holy hell, they came after me shooting up my booty cheeks. Thank you, Seb. I got you, dog. This was... Yo, they just did me! Yo, Bob and Weave, Bob and Weave, Bob and Weave, Pacho. You can make it, you can make it. Oh good, they can't swim, they just despawn. They just despawn, oh, but they despawn closer. <laughs> Yo, Pacho, let's go. Yo, we Bobby, we Pacho, Bobby. <laughs> this is amazing for my ankle. <laughs> Once we finally escape, they follow us to base. Oh, shit, they I'm clipped coming, into coming, the mountains coming. and just lit up our creatures. So I make the decision to put all of them away and 
and run for life. But they just kept following me and finally I just fly up in the sky and wait. Now that they are off me, it was time to look at the pals we caught. But I do have to say that was intense GTA to, kind of stuff. And as soon as things settle down, we get raided. So I get to try out my mammoth. It's power slam literally sent all the NPCs flying, but we left the gate open and they ran into the crib and some thug started blowing stuff up. Once that was fixed, I made some hyper series and waited till morning. Then went resource gathering and kind of goofed around the day. Till a raid happened and literally wiped the floor with my pals. And my two strongest pals dead. And I couldn't even capture one of the pals that attacked us. They looked dope. Then they were named like these incinera rams. And I kind of needed them. Next thing I did was make a production line and made a giga shield. But now I am completely out of metal again. I swear these pals keep moving them and dropping them outside the circle or something gonna kill yeah. so i had so much but now it's time to go resource gathering again and on my way i right, took no, a I detour to collect the azura bull okay. boss which is a serpent have, who throws heat saddle. seeking water missiles at you kind of dope ran back to the jungle and saw a queen just waiting there looking good waiting to be tamed so i tamed it but that's not my goal my goal is the mosanda which literally wields grenade launchers along with special abilities like the uppercut so i need one of these guys in my life and i see one just relaxing chilling looking all cool and all shooting some b-balls outside of the school knock it but i did tame it I actually get a few of them because really, really cares just having care. one with me is gonna be low. Then I found this huge egg which led me to a boss TP. I went in and it was this black beetle looking thing called a war casket. It did look kind of dope but my creatures messed it up and it died in my arms before I can tame it. There was this shiny butterfly but I got oh swarmed God. by a bunch of its chill, friends, chill, chill, chill. and they are All fast right, as fuck. Fire Their fire attacks fire. keep going, and they don't God. stop until God. I get knocked down Fish and fuckers. lose the shiny. I get my stuff back, and then I went back to base to build the Mosanda saddle. On day 46, while exploring, I ran into an electric serpent called Jumanta, and it looks like it wants to join me on my adventures. And I know I'm going to die if oh, I try to fight well, this, now. but mama ain't raised no time. Well, what, what a doing? mistake that was, because almost immediately I die. Got my stuff back and continued to explore, but found these plushy looking dino called a Relaxor, which are kind of cute, so I tamed too. It. Then I found the plushies boss called a Relaxor Lux. While fighting yeah. it, my boy actually got stuck in the ceiling, which I'm was actually on the, can you look up and see the me? upside yeah. to my deck. <laughs> Once we got him down, we got it low, and I was going to let my boy tame it if I didn't get it tamed in that first ball. Damn, but luck was on my him. side. Flew towards a huge statue, which was next to a boss spawn. When I got there, it said the area was the sacred land of a tyrant. Went inside and saw an absolute oh, beast yeah, of a pal. Bad. We explored some more and then we ran into an island where it was literally too hot to even stand up. So we went back and I ran into a shiny fox. Are you kidding me? You know I had to tame. Even if it's so late in the game, it's going to be weak and useless. I just love them so much. Put all the eggs I got from exploring to hatch and I just waited for the huge egg to hatch while doing some stuff around base. Made some fire and a tundra resistant fur armor and some saddles for the Rayhound and Aura Blade. Went out to tame the dragon really quick and then hatched the egg. What a disappointment it was. It was just a relaxer. Spent the next day porting my private game into a multiplayer world, which caused me to lose all of my player data. But fortunately, I handed off all my pals to my guildmate for safekeeping. But I'm a level 1 beach bob again with no ability to make anything. So I had to start over with just my pals in my deck. My levels, effigy points, and all my fast travels gone. I made a handgun and a crossbow before I lost my character. And the crossbow was from a schematic I found lying around. So I at least had weapons. When I got on the next day, my tribe mates actually had the boss monster as a tame when I came back. I guess it was a glitch that allowed you to capture them, but all I gotta say is this thing looks crazy. And it was OP. But unfortunately for me, it was time to grind levels again. Now, during my journey, I found a aqua bronchary chilling in a cave. But since I'm a low level beach bob, that guy violated. Once I died, I did come back with the relaxed swords lux I got from the boss, and he was strong, did massive damage damage to him but because he was so low level one hit was enough to put him in a coma i died like six times but eventually i was able to get it low enough and killed it by accident i honestly didn't have the energy in me to continue so i'll just come back to it when i'm strong ran into a syndicate crusher who was this thick 
boy that's with three C's and he had a mini gun. Now I put them all six feet under and freed the path. Found another hidden water shawl mine shaft. So you already know I explored it. It had a fang lope in it and sheesh, such a beauty. And yes, I'm aware I call a lot of pals beautiful, but I mean, just look at it. Can you blame me? I tamed it, but I'm not gonna lie. It was a close call. Had me struggling towards the end, but I got it now. The only bad thing is it's passive skill is pacifist which means it's a debuff to its attack. I also got something called a Kitsune from an egg, which is now at our base, relighting candles. Round two with Bron Cherry Aqua. Shot him in the face a bit, then threw my balls at his forehead, color, and he happily design, accepted them. Wait, pause. I unlocked the saddle for him, <laughs> let's go. I called him the Cookie no, Monster, but turns out it uses a different saddle, which is something I probably should have known. Bred my quiver in and chill it so that I can get Anubis. I was told this is how. Now I do plan on experimenting myself with all of my dinos, but for now I really just needed the Anubis for his resource gap. First one we bred was so trash, it had nothing but debuffs, so we decided to breed some more. I bred the Abushi and my OG Fire Spark as well to see what I would get. Finally had max base level, which means we got a third base. The next day I did a few egg openings and it looks like the breeding is randomized except for a few for sure combinations that always give you the same one. Now I got Anubis and Jermuntide, but I just don't remember the combination for Jermuntide. I also made a crazy efficient iron farm and I was pretty much back on track with my levels and effigy so it was time to actually start progressing again. I explored the heat biome with my new heat pelt armor and the game designers really need to give themselves a pat on the back because this armor is fire, no pun intended. I had to fly above the mountains. When I finally got to the top, there was a desert on the left and magma on the right. I explored the right side for now because I mean, it's magma and I can't wait to see what kind of pals it has. And I immediately get met with these giant pal bones and a gang of martyrs that are fire wielding. I ignore them which in hindsight was a bad idea. I run into a Wixen, Lee's Punk, and then got bodied by the Martyrs. Now I slowly crawled to land, just hoping to get my stuff off of the magma. Then I made some metal heat resistant armor when I was back at base. And I also took a, a back up Van Worm and Cookie Monster to get my things back. I actually did get my things back luckily and ran into a Nox Tiger called a blaze hound knock. I tamed that and a pirate. I also found a Nox version of the pirate, but almost died, so I had to kill it. I did eventually find another, sniping it on top of a rock and taming it at the end. I stopped at base to get water, pal, and honestly, just to admire all my new tames. I tamed some Wixen, which seems to be the enemy of the Catrice, according to its lore. I saw a dragon statue, so I explored around it, but couldn't find anything. I did manage to see a tower, so I ran towards it. Once I got to the tower, and which took an entire night, I unlocked the fast travel and kept exploring. Given its name around the Pyra and it's in the volcanic biome, I'm gonna assume it's a fire boss, which means I need water tames. I kept exploring, eventually stumbling on a cave. It had a level 40 boss in it, so I noped away till I saw a TP right next to it. Now, it would be silly not even to try for it. So I went in fully prepared to die and I get confronted by a Mosanda Lux. So I kill one and tame the other one, cause why not, it's a Mosanda. A panda with grenade launchers, but this time it's lightning rare. How could I not? I'm gonna honestly let the video cook cause this was a cool looking dungeon compared to the previous ones. I turn left and apparently stop in a gang war to Pocos versus Syndicate. I wait to see who wins and kill the winner. I did see a crusher, and I'm not gonna lie, I wasted like 15 hyper balls on him before finally just killing him. Went through the corridors till I got to the boss, which ended up falling in lava, so I just stared at him till I shot my shot, you feel me? After all, it was a love lander. But you know how they say the worst thing they can say is no? Well, that's not true, because this one literally blew him on my face. I mean, like literally, it blew up in my face. I, I found another cave, right and at the end was a Cagneto boss, which was easily swept. I ended up capturing him, then went exploring for a blaze of mud and finally found it. It was a mine shaft chilling. And holy heck, this man looks fire. Literally and figuratively. I uh, not only want him, I need him. Oh my Question goodness. is, can I take him? The answer may surprise you, you because it's a no, like a big fat. Oh, was dealing one damage and the Mosonda 
clipped him into the dungeon multiple times. So I abandoned it and just went on a dungeon raid with my guildmate and managed to get a crusher. Till we crash and this was like the 50th crash in a row. So I was sick of it. Abandoned the raid and went to the beetle boss to tame it. Now I got him up to like the fifth wall and you can't even ride him. So what a waste of time. I did get a tip that you can capture the black marketer. So we went into the cave and put him in cuffs. Now this man had called a pal on us that insta killed my teammate, which had me cackling in the back. But we managed to kill the pal and then capture the merchant. So when you put him in the pal workshop, you can use it to trade. Man, this is ultimate bro, stuff, yeah, okay? Big that, brain yeah. plays. Tried riding a couple of the cooler mounts I had. The hollow looking one no called a Marata was just so slow, but the Kitsune looked too cool not to see in action. And he is slow as hell as well. But his passive is to negate all temperature and his abilities can take on a mammoth. <laughs> Made the saddle for Eldafin, which is the toy yeah, dragon we so bought from the I merchant so long ago. But yeah. after riding him for a while, he kind of <laughs> sucks with stamina. Yeah, yeah. And when he's done that with stamina, he literally drops. Ball. He doesn't float like the rest. Later on, I found a Wampo Baton chilling on an island and I challenged him. Big mistake. It literally chewed down on my top five, then came from my cheeks. And once it was done, it spit me out as if I was a nice little appetizer for it. And when I came back, he had hit me off my mount, which in turn made me bug the hell out and walk on air. I'm not gonna lie, I felt like Tinkerbell. Then of course some lag bull happens when I got it low on health, uh, but you know what they say, third time's a charm. I tamed it and now I had it in my top five. I took on a Verdash boss with him just to see how it handles it, but honestly this boss was just too easy to really tell. He was squishy, like me after Thanksgiving dinner. Took on one last boss called Valet, which looked like a Peter Pan and Pixie had a baby. We took its cheeks, I went back to base to make saddles for all the teams I had unlocked like the Blaze Howl and Pyron and started a new day. But I spent that oh whole day that. moving base. Energy I let my tri mate build up that base and went exploring in the tunnel. Yeah. Found a boss spawner called a Siblex, a level 40 giant snowbird. Uh, so I sent my firebird to melt its wings. Got it low and I swear it took like 20 hyperballs to tame it. I'm not mad, I'm just tight. But at the end of the battle, it voluntarily joined my army. Right next to the boss spawn was a tower. I'm gonna oh, assume yeah, no, this is an ice type. Good thing I got some fire course. creatures in my arsenal now. I'll come back to that soon. While my Guildmate builds a base near the coal then, farm. I plan on building a massive all-in-one base. On my way looking for a spot, I tamed a really cool looking reindeer, which again, I probably will never use. Then a foxicle, which might actually see light outside of the pal box because of how cool it looks. Then I found a cave and tamed a so, felbat, uh, which is another one who might cool. never see the outside of a pal box. I managed to level up oh, to unlock the Pyron Nox saddle, but since all this stuff is being restructured, it's probably gonna be a while before I actually get to saddle it. Spent an entire day looking for the Masander Lux till I realized it was just a visible bug and he was spawned right there on the map, not in a dungeon the whole time. Safe to say I wasted a day and to top it off, I ended up putting it six feet in the dirt. I explored the sandy desert, came across some new pals, explored a cool looking sandstone dungeon at the end. I found a boss ranworm, which would have been a cool mount, but of course I died and I do not know if dungeons reset if you die. And it does. Came back to a goblin fin ignis instead you have no idea how tight i was now i did tame it though because i mean it's boss goblin i kind of had to it leveled me to 34 which means i can use the beacon which i named bacon found another dungeon and inside a blaze hound boss stuffed him into the ball like he was a pretzel found a town and traded with the inhabitants ran into the twin knights that were literally Statualized on the yeah, bridge well, back at the beginning. They were both level 50 and holy hell, they are nice on the eyes. When I finally came back to base to look at all the new pal creatures I got, I was impressed with myself. I caught a bunch of bacon so that I can hopefully get a swift one like my Pyron Knock, which literally shreds distance like nothing. Felt like Speedy McQueen. Ran some trees for their fruit and then went exploring for the mass taming of beacons, hoping for a swift. Ran into another tower and, and I kind of had to remember like, clearing these is the whole point of the game. But you got me out here messing around trying to find a bacon. So you know what I did? I continued to mess around. Which is why I ran a dungeon then fell through the map. So I had to all F4, when all odds fail, all F4 as my guildmate says. Got to the end and it was a boss in Cineram that my teammate captured. A boss Suzuku tried to run me for my money. Unfortunately for it, I had no hyperspheres and he only wanted them red balls. My green ones weren't good enough. So. He died to a stray bullet. At least it leveled me high enough to get to the Dark Howl 
knocks out him. Named him after my real life dog, Phoenix. Ran into another beacon boss on my travels and I would never say no to a beacon. I tamed him and got hyped when I saw a yellow passive, but turns out he just wanted to go on a diet. Then I took on the Felbat boss to end the night. Now there's a Nightwing boss, but honestly I was way too high level to care about it, so I just captured it so it could collect dust in the PAL box. Then found a Dumont on the same island. Right next to the island is Anubis. I ran into oh his God. statue, then I saw him prowling God, the desert amazing. alongside it. And he violated my bacon while I was typing my notes. So I had to book it. After running with my tail between my legs, I found a mine with a mana sting boss inside. But there was something going on with the server where no boss was actually spawning. So I did a quick dungeon to hopefully fix the bug. And once I was out, the mana sting actually spawned. It's a giant scorpion. During the fight, I get it to 55 and it glitches through the wall. I immediately go into panic mode because that was a long fight to lose the boss at the end. I go back to its spawn, hoping it follows me. Then bam, I get my booty cheese tick. It gets me down to like 10, but I throw hyper balls till that sucker becomes mine. Then I worked on base, bought a bunch of resources because I had loads of coins and like honestly I had like around 200k. Then took on an Elizabeth and almost died thanks to some lag. I mean, literally in my ball, yet an attack comes out after like five seconds. I did catch it anyway, but I honestly didn't need it. So it shall collect dust. Found a lucky Cinemoth while heading back to base. Honestly, Phoenix is cool, but he's not that strong and super inconvenient to use. Went exploring and found a strange rock that ended up being Quartz. So I sent Bowser Jr. to do Bowser things. Quartz will be useful for a lot of things such as circuit boards and polymer. Then I added that base when my pals got me resources. There was this broken down boss tower, so I explored it. Around it was weak creatures like chillets and penguins, but they were like level 30. Then I found a dungeon which appeared like a frozen cave. Went inside and there were these look weird looking power resources that literally shot pulse rifles and I swear if I don't unlock that gun eventually, I'm gonna be pretty tight. After the fight with the power resources, I had to go back, my armor was broke, my pals were hungry and honestly, I knew I wouldn't be able to take on that dungeon. But I also couldn't let this chance pass by. So I went back to base to get everything fixed and swap out my top five. I made a quivering saddle as well now that I was high enough level. Once I get into the cave, I run past all the enemies straight into the boss room only to find an ice retro. I threw out my mana sting and saw it put in work. He pretty much soloed this boss and to finish it off, I have my nice little pyron knock. The only thing that sucks is that I pretty much threw 40 hyperspheres at it before I got it. And I don't know if it was worth all that trouble. So hopefully it proves me wrong. And to be honest, I knew I wouldn't be able to take on the mobs in the dungeon, so I just grabbed the chest at the end and left. There was another Tundra biome cave and I repeated the same steps. Ran past all the mobs till I got to the boss room. The only thing is this one was kind of different. You actually had to scale the wall to get to it. Once I got there, a Maria greeted me. Now, I don't know if I really wanted this, but I guess if it's an easy tame, why not? And as shocking as it was, it wasn't. It single-handedly wiped all my tams and then proceeded to waste like 15 balls till I got it. I might be leaving this dungeon with all of my stuff intact, but honestly, this was a waste. <laughs> Look at these wampos minding their own business. You know I couldn't let that slide. And they do say karma strikes back quick because I fell into a ditch and couldn't get out of it. I literally had to keep climbing while the wampo hit me from I don't even know where till I died. Keep in mind, there is no TP anywhere near where I died. So yeah, made a long journey to get my things, which were still stuck in that ditch, by the way. So I had to jump down, climb up, and do some Tom Cruise level parkour till I jumped on my bird. Now, I finally saved the tower waypoint and then just went back to base. I decided to take on the tower before going to bed. It was called the Free Pal Alliance Tower. But I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty easy. I used my Ice Reptro to take care of it for the most part. Lily and Lillian ain't seen me coming apparently. Sent them to the nether with her fine self. Now it was time to stake my claim to the tower and head to bed cause it was like 6 a.m. right now and the kid is sleepy. Anyway, good luck later me. Trying to fix this script with all the typos. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda hate previous me for that. Anyway, 
I also got max capturing rate and enhanced my pirate knock some through the statue. Spent some time resource gathering before redoing Lillian and Lily's tower with my tribe. Then went exploring after a while. I went back to base to build, took on the PDIF tower in between building because I needed a break from my own creation. Who the fuck this guy think he is? Yeah, <laughs> he badass. It's like the Russian mobster, the Russian mobster of the PIDF. Did you skip through? Uh oh, I bet, bet. Yeah, 100%. I mean, he's top of like the government infantry or whatever it is around here. <laughs> Now the intro to the boss was wild. Dude looked dope, at least until the end here where he just starts throwing money. Anyway, this boss was OP. Five minutes in and we managed to take off like 12k health. Just ain't no way we were taking it on. So we opted for the easy way out. We kind of died like hey. Romeo and Juliet. It's day 91 and the base was looking real nice. So I decided to make some blueprinted refined power armor and fix my weapons then went out to tame went to anubis to clap his cheeks now this battle took all day and the capture took all night wasted damn near 50 balls before finally capturing this guy but i saw two legendary passes when i did so i'm hyped i can't stop here it's time for jamuntide my sweet baby boy blue flame was messing him up went toe to toe against this guy and still came out on top i'm so proud of you blue flame you did dad proud Cut Jamuntide and went back to base to rotate out my Relaxaurus Lux with Jamuntide to go after the Blazemon. Now he did his job, just took all day again to get him low and tameable. Once I did tame him, I went back to base to swap her in my top 5 and named her Hellgirl. The best part is, as I leveled up after the battle and her saddle was literally this new level's unlock. Freaking fantastic luck. Now she has for mining so that's probably the best i've seen so far and before i got up for the night i made some cake and bred new pals honestly at this point i was literally falling asleep in my chair but before i went to bed i put the eggs to incubate and let my tribe mate know what a sign then finally passed out got back on and cracked some eggs all i got were some punk Relaxosaurus. Went out exploring now that I had Hellgirl saddle. Felt like I should debut her in her natural environment. So I went into the volcanic area just racking stuff up. It just one shot a Wixen. Then I found another mine shot which had Astagon. Now this guy looks mighty damn fine so I tried my luck. Now Blue Flame wasn't dealing any damage but then I throw out my myth, the legend, Hellgirl herself and she bodies that boy. Gets him low enough but I didn't want to accidentally kill him, so I swapped her out for Blue Flame again. Took less than five throws, and now it was mine. When I captured him, I actually got something called Pal Metal, which is, I guess, the next tier up. I'm assuming you get this unlock when you get the Electric Furnace, but I'm not at that level yet. There was a dungeon in the lava area right next to the boss, so I sped through it with my knock at least till I crash, because if you're in a dungeon and crash, the dungeon reset so when i got back on i just ran straight to the boss and it was a futter this was a waste of time so i killed it with hell girl got my two chests and headed out the cave there was a boss on the map called the jet dragon honestly at level 50 i probably had no hope of defeating it plus this insane lag and it literally zooms across the map but there's like two days left and i ain't no punk so you know i had to unfortunately yeah this this lag is insane as you can see and this jet dragon is not helping so i keep trying but the lag was too insane. I called it quits and just explored the runes nearby. Now the runes were really nice to look at and I was actually thinking of making this spot a potential base spot, but came up with blanks on how to incorporate the surrounding runes into the build itself. I'm sure some of y'all are Bob the Builders out there and you'd know a way. So this is a really good spot. Let me know what you guys can do in the comments. However, I'm super sleep deprived and I'm going to bed. Honestly though, I had half the map finished, still missing a ton of pals for my pal decks. Base was half finished, there was just no way to finish in the next 100 days. And I like this game too much to fast forward through all of this content. So, I guess I'll see you in the next 100 days.